You might be skeptical, but the Tesla Bot Optimus is the most worthwhile humanoid robot to buy right now. And there are at least four reasons why you should pre-order it as soon as the program launches. Useful tasks, an affordable price, cost effectiveness, and home business support can provide you with significant income, up to tens of thousands of dollars per month, with just one humanoid robot. This might raise some doubts, but we'll explain right away to prove that owning it is a decision you'll never regret. Welcome to Tesla Car World. The first reason must undoubtedly be the most attractive price on the market, designed to attract a large number of orders. We estimate that around 2 to 3 million orders will take place between 2025 and 2026. This year, Musk confirmed that Tesla would produce a limited quantity of approximately 10,000 units, with the company fully focusing on Optimus production in 2026 to deliver to customers. Specifically, Musk confirmed this during last year's earnings call. But we, we expect to have several thousand Optimus robots um, produced and doing useful things by the end of next year uh, in the Tesla factories. Uh, and then in 2026, ramping up production quite a bit. Um, and at that point, we'll be providing Optimus robots to uh, outside customers. Elon Musk has confirmed at least three times that its price will be around $20,000 or even lower. The first confirmation was at the AI Day 2022 event, where he stated, I, it, it is expected to cost much less than a car. I'll just bring so, it directly to the right here. Uh, I would say probably less than $20,000 would be my guess. <laughs> and last year, as Tesla expanded its promotional campaign for its robot ahead of the launch, Elon Musk frequently shared on X that the price of Optimus would be half the cost of a car. He wrote, You should be able to, to buy an Optimus robot for, I think, probably twenty dollars to $30,000 long term. Therefore, with two instances hinting at the price of Optimus dropping to such a low level, there's no reason for Tesla to launch a robot priced so high that it drives customers away. From certain perspectives, we can believe Tesla has now mastered cost control in Optimus production. Musk previously stated that the company spends only $10,000 per Optimus, which explains why he can confidently make such claims. To highlight the price gap, consider Boston Dynamics Atlas and Unitree H1, both priced at around $150,000, far too high. Now let's talk about its versatile role. The second reason Elon Musk suggests we should buy the Tesla bot. So it can... Um be a teacher, babysit your kids, it can walk your dog, mow your lawn, get the groceries, just be your friend, serve drinks, um, whatever you can think of, it will do. So you could say pick up a cup, pick up a shirt, hold the shirt. Uh, th these, these things will generalize, I think, quite quickly. You know, no one would be foolish enough to buy a robot that can only perform tasks inside a factory. That's why Tesla aims to develop Optimus more as a homemaker. As Elon Musk mentioned its tasks, it's clear these are the boring chores we don't want to do. So if it can handle most household tasks, why would we hesitate to spend money on it? Tesla Bot has already demonstrated the ability to fold a shirt in just 30 seconds with smooth, precise movements. After watching that video, we imagined how wonderful it would be if Optimus could simply sit at home folding clothes and putting them away in the closet. Wouldn't that be amazing? You could relax on the sofa, enjoy a movie, and during that time, Optimus would have taken care of almost everything. This is precisely the goal Tesla is aiming for, and exactly what customers need. Optimus has the potential to generate significant income through the tasks it performs. Take, for example, the video of it folding clothes. Now imagine a more advanced scenario. How crazy would that be? For instance, in a retail store setting, Optimus could fold large quantities of clothing, pack them into boxes, and prepare them for delivery. You wouldn't have to worry about hiring people to do this or paying their monthly wages. It would be incredibly beneficial if we could simply purchase an Optimus and have it perform income-generating tasks, such as deliveries and production work, thereby saving a significant amount of money. In this way, the robots would essentially pay for themselves, allowing us to recoup our investment quickly. Beyond these reasons, there are many more to consider when deciding to buy the Tesla Optimus, and we'll share them in upcoming episodes.
As the EV market in 2025 witnesses a growing number of manufacturers emerging from China to North America, the pressure on EV makers is mounting. They are being forced to deliver breakthroughs in battery technology that are, at a minimum, cost-efficient, energy-dense, and safe. In this race, the company with superior battery technology will win. Although Tesla has been a pioneer in EVs, it has been quite a while since the company introduced a new battery type. The 4680 cell remains Tesla's focus for development, but so far, production of the 4680 cells has only been sufficient to support the Cybertruck. If production ramps up significantly in the near future, the Tesla Semi could be the next vehicle to adopt the 4680 battery, as the Semi factory is set to begin large-scale production by the end of this year, with construction on the new facility progressing remarkably well. The reality is that Tesla cannot remain loyal to lithium-ion batteries forever, as they do not enable Elon Musk's EVs to drop in price enough to produce affordable vehicles. But what if Tesla had a battery that was three times cheaper than lithium-ion, charged twice as fast, and was 100 times safer? This may sound unbelievable, but it is gradually becoming a reality with advances in sodium-ion battery technology. Tesla has every reason to consider this type of battery. Sodium ion batteries might be a familiar term to energy tech enthusiasts, but not everyone fully understands this technology. Most people simply think of it as a battery that uses sodium instead of lithium. While that's true, sodium ion batteries go far beyond merely replacing materials. This technology holds much more exciting potential. Sodium ion batteries are composed of three main components, cathode made from materials capable of storing sodium ions. A node typically uses hard carbon, alloys, or metal oxides. And finally, electrolyte, a special liquid positioned between the anode and cathode that allows sodium ions to move back and forth during charging and discharging. Although switching from lithium to sodium alters energy density, charging time, and overall performance, the fundamental operating principle of sodium ion batteries is similar to that of lithium ion batteries. During charging, sodium ions move from the cathode to the anode, and the process reverses during discharge. Many electrode materials used in sodium ion batteries are derived from lithium ion technology, demonstrating high compatibility between the two types of batteries. So, why Tesla is interested in sodium ion batteries? Tesla has no intention of abandoning lithium ion batteries, which are currently considered the gold standard. Instead, the introduction of sodium-ion batteries is intended to solve problems that lithium-ion batteries cannot solve, especially as the electric vehicle market shifts toward lower-cost models. Sodium is abundant and much cheaper than lithium, which is especially important as demand for lithium is expected to increase many times over the next few years. The affordable Tesla electric vehicle expected to launch this year is rumored to be named the Tesla Model Q, with an estimated price of $30,000. Initially, Elon Musk had announced that the price would be $25,000 for this vehicle, but a few challenges may have caused the price to increase by at least $5,000. If that's true, it's likely that the cost of the battery has made it difficult to keep the price at $25,000. For the long term, sodium ion batteries could be the optimal solution to lower the cost of the Tesla Model Q. It is forecasted that the production cost of sodium ion batteries could drop to just $40 per kilowatt hour, much lower than any other battery technology. Tesla's biggest partner, KITL, is currently producing sodium ion batteries at around $77 per kilowatt hour, and they promise to lower this even further through technological breakthroughs. Specifically, CATL has committed to reducing the cost to under $40 per kilowatt hour in the future, as the world's leading battery manufacturer has made a major breakthrough in its production process. The price potential of sodium ion batteries is clear, especially when even the cheapest LFP cells on the market today cost around $139 per kilowatt hour. Sodium ion batteries offer many benefits, including lower costs, reduced dependence on lithium supply, and the potential to meet the growing energy demand of the market. You may not know that while lithium naturally exists in many types of rock and some brines, the amount of lithium in the Earth's crust is not limitless. Furthermore, Extracting lithium requires a large amount of energy. The high demand for this raw material combined with the limited natural supply has driven its price up, earning lithium the nickname white gold. In contrast, 
Sodium makes up about 2.6% of the Earth's crust, making it abundant in nature and much easier to extract than lithium. Additionally, the materials used for the anode and sodium ion batteries mainly contain iron and manganese, rather than nickel or cobalt like in lithium ion batteries. Both iron and manganese are abundant globally and are not on the list of elements at risk of depletion. The first major advantage of sodium ion batteries is their relatively fast charging time. Over the years, sodium ion batteries have seen significant improvements in how to shorten charging times thanks to advancements in electrode materials. Specifically, CATL claims their sodium ion batteries can charge up to 80% in just 15 to 20 minutes, faster than the 30 minutes required for the Model 3 with LFP batteries. Some studies even show the potential for super-fast charging, with new sodium ion batteries capable of fully charging in just a few seconds, thanks to an anode integrated with supercapacitor technology. This opens up a promising future for long trips without having to wait hours to charge the battery. Many people still worry that EVs are potential ticking time bombs, at risk of exploding after four to five years of use. Once an EV catches fire, controlling and extinguishing lithium-ion battery packs is a significant challenge because the amount of water needed to put out the fire is difficult to predict. However, in reality, incidents involving lithium-ion batteries occur in extremely rare cases with an exceptionally low rate of occurrence. What's noteworthy is that if sodium-ion batteries were used, the story would be completely different. Sodium-ion batteries excel in safety because they are designed with non-flammable cells, making them less prone to explosions and short-circuiting. This means the risk of fire or explosion from sodium is virtually non-existent. Not only are they safe, but sodium-ion batteries also show exceptional adaptability to extreme temperature conditions. They operate stably in a range from negative 20 degrees Celsius to 60 degrees Celsius, compared to the narrower temperature range of lithium-ion batteries from 0 degrees Celsius to 50 degrees Celsius. Notably, at low temperatures, sodium ion batteries maintain impressive performance, retaining more than 92% of their capacity at negative 20 degrees Celsius minus 20 degrees Celsius. This information was confirmed in a report by CATL, one of the leading companies in the battery manufacturing industry. CATL stated that sodium ion batteries can retain over 90% of their capacity even under extremely cold conditions, such as negative 20 degrees Celsius. However, sodium ion batteries have a significant drawback that requires additional development time despite their abundant raw materials. One major disadvantage of sodium batteries is their energy density. In other words, the amount of energy stored relative to the battery's volume. The energy density of sodium batteries remains relatively low, ranging from 140 to 160 watt-hours per kilogram, compared to 180 to 250 watt-hours per kilogram for lithium-ion batteries. While it is undeniable that sodium has a heavier weight and lower energy storage capacity compared to lithium, recent data from leading cell manufacturers developing sodium-ion batteries show promising prospects. These results indicate that although sodium does not excel in energy density, it can compete strongly with lithium iron phosphate cells in terms of energy density per volume and offers significantly lower costs. This opens up substantial opportunities for low-cost and compact electric vehicle segments with reduced production expenses. Specifically, in 2021, CATL introduced a sodium ion battery with an energy density of 160 watt hours per kilogram and plans to increase this figure to over 200 watt hours per kilogram in the near future. Although this process requires more time for refinement, it is undeniable that sodium ion batteries have the potential to approach the energy density of lithium batteries if technological solutions succeed. Even with lower energy density, Sodium ion batteries remain an attractive option for affordable electric vehicle models. They can still provide a driving range of approximately 200 miles with a 70 kilowatt hour battery pack, which would cost significantly less than a 70 kilowatt hour lithium battery pack. Currently, sodium ion battery technology is emerging as a promising solution, especially in markets prioritizing lower costs and safety over maximum performance. This type of battery not only offers superior economic benefits, but also significantly contributes to reducing environmental impact. 
In the short term, sodium ion batteries are expected to replace traditional lead acid batteries, which are widely used in gasoline powered vehicles and trucks. This revolutionary step heralds a new era for sustainable, efficient, and more planet friendly energy solutions. According to market forecasts, the sodium ion battery industry is on track for robust growth, with an impressive annual growth rate of approximately 27% over the next decade. Production is expected to skyrocket from 10 gigawatt hours in 2025 to 70 gigawatt hours by 2033, a nearly 600% increase. These figures not only reflect the growing interest in this technology, but also solidify sodium ion batteries as a strong contender for the future of global energy. A key factor driving the remarkable potential of sodium ion battery technology is the similarity in manufacturing processes between sodium ion and lithium ion batteries. This allows manufacturers to easily transition their existing production lines, minimizing costs and maximizing current resources. In the context of increasingly scarce lithium resources and the risk of future shortages, sodium ion batteries emerge as an ideal alternative offering a more stable supply without compromising performance. That said, sodium ion batteries still face challenges, particularly regarding energy density. A crucial factor for competing with lithium batteries in high-performance applications like electric vehicles. However, the growing attention from major players in battery manufacturing and electrification underscores the strong confidence in the potential of sodium ion batteries despite the hurdles ahead. The automotive industry in particular is showing keen interest in sodium ion batteries, as experts predict a point where lithium batteries may no longer be suitable or hold a monopoly as the primary energy solution for electric vehicles. In fact, the world is already exploring various alternative battery technologies with comparable advantages. Yet, resistance to change, driven by familiarity with existing standards, remains a significant barrier. Sodium ion batteries, with their unique benefits and cost-effectiveness, have the potential to break through this barrier once their current technical limitations are resolved. In conclusion, sodium ion battery technology represents a groundbreaking direction, opening up sustainable development opportunities for the global energy sector. Combining low costs, flexible applications, and ongoing advancements, sodium ion batteries are not merely an alternative, but could become the new standard, shaping the way we use energy in the 21st century. Returning to the Tesla bot, it is truly a breakthrough in humanoid robot technology, offering immense potential for both families and businesses. With an expected price starting at just $20,000, a figure Elon Musk has affirmed no less than three times over the past year, this cost is significantly lower than the average price of robots worldwide, solidifying Optimus's superior competitive position. Not only is it affordably priced, but Optimus is also designed to handle a wide range of household tasks such as folding clothes, cleaning, taking care of pets, or supporting business operations, helping to reduce labor costs. Its flexibility in performing complex tasks also brings significant opportunities for owners to earn additional income. This is not just a technological product, it is a comprehensive solution for modern living. With its clear benefits and long-term potential, the Tesla Bot Optimus is undoubtedly a worthy investment to consider. Thank you for watching our video. If you found the content helpful and want to explore more exciting information about Tesla Bot, Tesla EVs, don't forget to hit the like button and share this video. Also, make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you never miss our latest videos. We appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you in the next episodes.